right? Well, the reality is that wrenching in the Midwest is sometimes it's just ridiculous out. It's, as my phone says, four degrees outside. And um, while I still have my bumper, I, I still got to sand it. I still got to paint it another time. Uh, <laughs> tired of making up excuses, but it's just so impractical to work out here when it's this cold. We'll probably pull the bumper out to sand it, but I think what we're gonna do today is we're gonna move on to one of the other final details for Lori G. Pre, a 1979 Grand Prix, and that is the center cap situation. As you know, we bought our C4 Corvette wheels in two different waves. The first set at his center caps were just blank black, had some adhesive like BMW center cap stickers he put on them, so I pulled the yanked those off, so those were great. But then the second set from that Corvette uh, local supplier, C4, um, parts warehouse and we'll shoot here. Go find the info card up over there. Go watch that if you haven't. Uh, he had the traditional aluminum style ones for the... Anyway, we're going to sand those down today because we want to get those to all be matching, all the same, and we want to put some Pontiac logos on them. So we're going to vinyl wrap those. Um, so anyway, I got to prep those before we send them to the vinyl shop. But yes, that's what we're doing today and uh, maybe a little bumper sanding, but as you can see, Lori G. Pre is outside because, well, we have single degree temps for the rest of the week, and if I got to drive to work, uh, uh, we're gonna be doing this instead of <laughs> in the driveway, so the bus thing is pulled in. Well, let's get to work. Uh, but here are the ones from the Corvette shop, and I was originally picking at this one, thinking I might peel these out, Film with Bondo, then sand it, but honestly, because these are in acrylic too, I think what I'm going to try first is just sanding them down uh, with like 80 grit and just see where that gets me. Um, luckily, when I was at the Corvette uh, Parts Superstore, whatever we want to call that, um, I found some other center caps that I picked up along the way, and they just happened to be, this diameter was too big for the Corvette wheels, but what's nice is the proper diameter. They fit right in there, so uh, we'll probably like put them in my vise and sand on them. But yeah, this would have been a lot less work uh, to have the Firebird center caps work. So um, anyway, that's our plan, and we'll just see what the results end up being there. Um, but yeah, just really looking forward to having four matching center caps and that have Pontiac logos on them. Okay, so look at this. Piers. Let me just pop this coating off. And then I'll be at the same level as these guys. So that's kind of nice. I guess, uh, you know, maybe the sander isn't necessary, but uh, you saw how that just popped the center section out um, and made this easy. So yeah, look at that. Like this coating really is almost, is like a thin aluminum, I think. So we'll get this peel off and uh, we'll have four customizable center caps. Well, knowing what we know now, I think the trick then is just take our needle nose pliers and see if we can't just break this wrap on the back side. And then we'll start peeling it off almost like a like a can opener action. All right, so we got started with our box knife and you can create it a little, little lip. And so we'll see if we can't like work it from this side and just peel it all off.
Ta-da! Okay, it's amazing what can happen in two weeks' time. A uh, number of things. So the majority of the footage you've seen up to this point, I shot on January 13th. And then Sunday, January 14th, I got I got to thinking, why bother my local vinyl guy when something as simple as Pontiac Lewis probably exists somewhere on the internet in vinyl format for something like center caps. So I got onto eBay, found some, and um, made the order. It said expected delivery sometime between January 19th and the 23rd. And as you know, the 8th and the 23rd are my upload days. I'm like, man, I'm gonna be pushing it really close. But I could still, in theory, on the 23rd, just work late at night and get these wrapped up. But uh, luckily I thought, you know, I should probably come up with a contingency plan and that's where the, uh, the budget, top budget builds of 2024 came in. So glad I did that so I could keep that content schedule regular. Because wouldn't you know, on January 18th, the day before, the first day these could potentially show up, I get the notification that they decided to ship them. And I'm like, you know, really honestly, I don't care how long things take to get here to me, but just don't set the expectation that they'll show up at a certain time. And then it wound up, they didn't show up till yesterday. I'm on, it's Sunday now. It's whatever yesterday was, the 27th. I took the look, so whatever. But there's other things that I want to catch you up on what's all happened in these last two weeks. Okay, number one, the snow is finally gone. Actually, there's still little little chunks in, in the shade and stuff, but it's honestly, today is like the first day that the snow is like basically all gone. It's finally got warmer. Um, so Lori G. Pree is back into the garage in this bay. And yes, two weeks ago, I ended up shooting all four center caps in black and clear coating them. And then also I got a YouTube payment and let me buy a new camera. Yes, these last three episodes I've been shooting from my phone, my Google Pixel 7a. And honestly, I haven't hated the experience. It's been all right. And would always recommend if you want to start a YouTube channel, do this. Use your use your phone. But all of the headaches from a workflow standpoint that I thought I would run into have borne true. And uh, so I'm excited to uh, shoot with the Canon G7X Mark III for my next episodes. Um, and then of course the decals came in and uh, so that's what we're doing today. We are going to be planting these suckers on. I had in Adobe Illustrator created my own Pontiac logo to the scale and dimension that I wanted. And I suspected when I read about these, these were gonna be smaller than I really wanted to. And that seems to be bearing true here. But you know what, for the less than $12 that I spent, Seems like the perfect solution, so let's just get to it and give you guys the money shot, the payoff, which you've all been waiting for. Pontiac logos on some salad shooter bits. Okay, here's the one thing I was worried about when I was ordering online was I wasn't quite sure if it was going to be clear in the cutouts or if it was going to be white in the cutouts. And so it's uh, it's literally clear. So it's not a two color vinyl, it's a one color vinyl. So I guess I'll find some like, I don't know, model paint or something, some white to fill that in with, um, which won't be horrible because I should be able to wipe it off of the vinyl. You know, it's basically doing its own masking at this point, but... Uh, yeah, I'd rather see white in there than just red on black. 